Oakland A's versus Seattle Mariners, and the Mariners are minus 120 on the money line. Their A's are plus 100. The over-under is 7.5 runs. The Mariners, laying a run and a half, are plus 145, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. And the A's getting a run and a half are minus 170, meaning if they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Kirby pitched once against the A's this year. Five innings, four runs, four earned. They lost that game seven to five. And Blackburn pitched once against the Mariners this year. Five and a third, no runs, no earned. They won four to two. Now, the Mariners are four and four when Kirby's on the mound. And the A's are nine and four when Blackburn is on the mound. Seattle's on a one-game winning streak, and they are 15-21 and 21 on the road this year. And Oakland's on a one-game losing streak, and they are 8-26 and 26 at home this year. Head-to-head, -head, the road team's on a three-game winning streak. The Mariners have absolutely dominated the A's. They're 8-2 and two against them in their last 10. The underdog getting a run and a half is 7-3, and three, and don't let that stat mislead you. The Mariners were an underdog in a lot of those games. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10 games, and the under 7.5 is also 6-4 and four in their last 10 games. And the road team is 7-3 and three in their last 10 games. A lot of these stats point to taking the Mariners, but I'm going to go against that because Blackburn's on the mound. I'm going to take Oakland with the money line, Oakland getting the runs and the under. Let's see if the numbers are right. Let's see if the numbers are wrong.